poor as I can remember that Tony. Um, from the word go, I'd, uh, with the, the report and people who'd watched them said they played with a high line, which they didn't. Um, so we'd worked on uh, the three front players threatening the back and trying to get some little balls in behind. So, well, the front three did, kept running in behind, but we kept uh, hitting long and high balls to them. If I'd have been doing a report on us today, I'd have said, the league don't play any football, they just look to get the ball forward, which we wanted to do, but uh, not, not, not as direct as we turned out to be. I wanted us to work the ball, uh, work openings, and then try and get balls in behind. So whether, whether I was at fault for uh, giving them wrong instructions or whether they weren't good enough to carry it out, I don't know. It was a little bit of a, a mismatch at the back that led to the air goal. And that was, I suppose, from a manager's point of view, you want to see the ball you know, cleared as quickly as possible and there was a little bit of hesitation. Well, it, it, it's, uh, it, it started with uh, Oli Harrison making a stupid decision to run the ball out. I don't mind that if he comes out with the ball and he's looking for a blue shirt. But he doesn't. He runs with his head down, tries to take people on, which is the last thing you want. And we lost the ball. And uh, we, we, we did uh, manage to uh, recover it. Then he lost it again. Cross coming from the uh, all right there left. Vlad was able to bring it down in the box uh, and, and, and score. So, whereas we were so good last week defensively, we let a cross into the box, we didn't mark the man in the box. And what the others did, the ball went over the reds and they stood looking. What they've got to do is get inside the post. So we've got a body there to block that shot. But they... Uh, to be fair, there was so, so many of them uh, below par today and uh, I'm sure working tomorrow we'd have somebody doing a report on us and they'll think they've only got to turn up next week. Well, uh, the penalty that uh, was missed by Tim Bryce, now he put it in the corner. Uh, would he sort of uh, check himself that he didn't perhaps hit it as hard as he wanted to? Yeah, I thought it was well struck and I thought it was a super save. I thought it was obvious where he was going, but it was still a good save. And I, I won't knock him because he's the only one that looks like scoring at the moment, which I said to him. Um, and if he misses a penalty, he misses a penalty. If Danny Roberts uh, gives the ball away trying to play out from the back, you know, that, that's my instruction. So I'll take responsibility for that. Um, that, that those things happen when you want to play how we want to play. But when, when the others are, are not playing to instructions, that's when you get performances like that. I mean, uh, I, I'm seriously considering whether to play five at the back again because in that system you expect so much from your wing backs. Well, our wing backs give us absolutely nothing in possession today. Uh, the front three uh, didn't combine as I can remember. Uh, maybe you'll tell me different, but I can't remember them combining. And I've told them the same. You, so, made, you made the decision, didn't you, to go forward at the back of bringing Josh Ryder off? Was, yeah. was Josh carrying a knock? No. It was purely tactical. We, we yeah, he had, a, he, he had done badly. Um, I just thought the other two, uh, Ollie, apart from his uh, horrendous error that led to the goal, was was fine. Scott was, uh, was fine. Uh, and so was Josh. But, uh, you know, I made the decision to go 4-3-3. Um, I'm not saying that made us any better, um, but when we changed to the diamond with Lewis a little bit further forward and replaced uh, Will with Amar, um, Lewis scored the goal, so uh, whether, the, whether the system worked or the personnel worked, Tony, uh, I don't know. It's interesting, isn't it? Because I mean, Will Saxon puts a shift in like you wouldn't believe. The man never stops running, and he's one of those players that will run 
you know, if there's a good job there's a gate out the side of the post or get the, the ground, I think he'd be out of it. Um, but unfortunately, he's not managed to get a, a, a goal and, and really stamp his authority on this is my shirt. Exactly. And that's what I said to him today. I thought about leaving you out. But with them, while well, I like to believe when they played a high line, I thought it might be the game for him, threatening the back and doing. And his start to the game was, wasn't very good. And then Rob got a great cross in, a volley cross, and uh, all he got to do was tap it in. And he controlled it, and the goalkeeper then was on top of him. So he's playing with a lack of confidence, certainly not a lack of effort, as you say. I, I can't fault his effort. But that, that's not enough, I'm afraid. Um, he, he's, he's in the team to score and make goals, and at the moment, he, he made Grice's winner against Glossop, uh, but he hasn't scored in five, six games. Well, don't expect to keep your place. Now, is this a master plan that you've got planned that you're keeping Dan Trickett Smith at fresh for Workington, or could he have played today, or you know, is he is he a bit away? No, I'm not that clever to, <laughs> to, to do, and I certainly wouldn't be without uh, Dan because he can make things happen. Uh, no, it's it's a it's an injury that's proving to be slow to go. Um, I thought the rest this this week. I didn't play him last Saturday. He trained a week last Thursday. Um, didn't play him at Prescott. Didn't train Tuesday or Thursday, and he <coughs> has improved. So that's that's worked. Now whether it's improved enough for him to start next Saturday. I don't know, uh, that, that, that's in the hands of my physio, that's why we pay him to do his job, he's, he's certainly improving, whether he's, whether he's going to make the starting line next week, none of us know. Well we went to Workington and managed to get a draw there, um, they, you know, they're there about, aren't they? they, it seems as if this top three sides are, are the ones that are challenging. How do you approach it? What are you going to be telling the players on Tuesday and Thursday night you know, to prepare them for what is going to be a real six point? I know we say it a lot, but it really is next week, isn't it? I, I, I say to him what I said to him today, we're going to have to play a lot better than that to uh, pull off the result that we need. I say the result that we need. I think two weeks ago it was a muscle in game. I'm not sure that's the, the case now. The, the gap's narrower. We then gave it last week. So whether it's a must win game, our chairman thinks so. Uh, I'm not sure it is, uh, but certainly we can't afford to lose it. Neil, thanks for joining us. Thanks for your, for your honesty as ever. And uh, we march forward and see what these, this next week brings. Hopefully, it'll bring Dan Tricky Smith back uh, training on Thursday. Thanks very much, Neil. Cheers, Dan. Cheers. That is uh, Neil Baker.